Good afternoon and welcome to this Wednesday from Dallas Fort Worth International Airport down here for day one of Airliners International 2023, American 2621 inbound. Thanks for being here up here on the balcony at the Hyatt Regency here at Dallas Fort Worth. Looking forward to a couple of days of spotting. Going to go to the show, going to do a couple of tours. Hopefully we'll see a lot of neat aircraft over the next couple of days. So thank you very much for being here. And um, stay tuned. We'll be here all day today and all day tomorrow. So we should see a lot of really cool things. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Air France 146. 787 Dreamliner inbound from Paris. Most of the internationals have been coming in on the other side. Unfortunately, I can't really see the other side from here. But uh, I'm glad to see this one came in right in front of us. Thinking about going over to Founders Plaza to spot later on today. We'll kind of see how it goes, uh, how tired I am. And I didn't rent a car, so we'll kind of see how things go. But um, at the very least, we'll do spotting here. We'll probably spot at the airport, too, up on the uh, Skylink trains, which are pretty cool. And um, we'll see where things go. Looking forward to the weekend. You guys here must be lost. It's a United 1106 inbound from Chicago O'Hare. Unfortunately, I can't see anything on the other side of the airport, anything that comes in on the west runways that we were watching earlier. So that might mean we might we might go over to the uh, the park if it cools down a little bit too. We'll see how it goes. We'll try to get the uh, E380 and everything coming in later today. We'll see. That's on the weather too. It's supposed to get a lot of severe weather and stuff like that. So we'll American Flight 2593 inbound from Minneapolis, St. Paul. And a sign on my door that says, keep the balcony closed. Yellow jackets are in, in the area this time of year. So we'll keep an eye out for bees. We don't get any. Saw a uh, report yesterday that Bahamas Air is looking to add Cleveland next year. So that'll be a cool pickup for us. See if it ends up coming true or not. And an American CRJ departing. They'll tell those block the view here once they kind of rotate, but still really can't complain. A brand new Spirit A320 Neo with the uh, raccoon eyes. Still waiting to see one of the new 321s with the uh, mask on the nose. I see they do have a couple of those in service now. So hopefully we see one of those at some point. Might see one here, we'll see. Heavy jet taking off, let's go and grab that. It's like a 777. Put my phone on the charger, so I'll have to run back and forth to try to catch, remember, you know, which flight is which. So far, the uh, eastbound flights are coming in on 1.7. The westbound flights are coming in on 1.8. We're looking at the 1.7s. 1.8 um, was what we are looking at earlier. Most of the internationals are using 1.8. I just saw a Lufthansa 787 go over to 1.8, even though it came in on, from the east. So, it's kind of something to keep in mind for later. Well, it looks like we have a 777 lining up for over here, and I'm hoping that special livery for Avianca comes in over here. Looks like it should. 1890 inbound for Las Vegas. In case you're wondering, yes, there are a lot of American Airlines flights here. Uh, American Airlines and Envoy here at DFW. Sorry, the uh, curtain just blew in front of me. It's the world's second busiest airport, at least I believe it was last year, and it's over 80% American. So we'll see a lot of AA this weekend. But um, next month we're going to Houston for a work thing, a possible work thing, we'll see. And um, so we'll see a lot of UA there. <laughs> Got an American Eagle Embraer E-175 departing here. 
some reason the departures are not populating for me on Flight Radar 24 until they're airborne, so it's kind of hard to get the departures. And Dual Spirits 144 inbound from Cancun on 17 center, I believe is what they said. Maybe 17 left. I looked at Spear, looked at Frontier to come down here too, but when you figure in the seat charges and the luggage charges and all that, it just ended up being more money plus with the layover. Glad I came in on America though because I got the One World Special Livery this morning. Hopefully we'll get a special livery tomorrow. We'll see. A couple more special liveries. Flagship Valor and Bare Metal Retro are due in a little bit. And also a really cool Avianca that I'm hoping we get to see over here. Spirit. Spirit 184 inbound from Tampa. Open one of those uh, FedEx MD 11s to part at some point. There's also another Air China Cargo 747 that's supposed to come in later on. Also, the British Airways A380. We have a Cargo Lux 747. We're going to do our best to try to get those for you. Depends on timing, depends on which runway. We're going to try. All right, coming in on the left side. 17 left is American T39. It is a 787-8 Dreamliner inbound from Rome. Kind of wish I brought the P1000. Just because of the distance. I mean, we could crop this and it'll look fine, but... Hoping to pick up a new lens at some point. Trying to be disciplined and pay things off, but it's so hard. All right, we got another heavy jet inbound. It's American 1188. It's a 777-200 inbound from Miami. It looks like the Avianca is going to come in on this side. Which I think will be our fifth special livery of the day already. With the two One Worlds, we got US Airways, we got Flag of Valor. I think it's be our fifth one. And then later on today, the other bare metals coming in. Flag of Valor is supposed to come back. I think oh, another One World supposed to come in. So hopefully we'll be able to catch them. Good stuff. We got dueling 737s inbound. Over here on the left side is American 2331. This was probably going to be us because they're inbound from Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. And over here on the center runway, I believe it's flight 1081. It's another 737. They're inbound from Jacksonville. Hello. Just looked and I see a UPS 747-8 popped up. It'll probably land on the other side. We'll keep that in mind for later on today. One of our One World 737s taxiing over to its gate just came in a couple of minutes ago. Meanwhile, United 8 or American 1800 inbound from Greensburg, Spart Greensville, Spartanburg. It is another One World livery 737. This is the one we flew in on yesterday. Same tail number. Now let's see if we can get them passing each other. This might be pretty cool. I'm kind of hoping to see two One Worlds together. That would have been pretty cool. Classic Sun Country livery. Check this out, we got a UPS 747, it's 2785 heading to Louisville. 
Taking off on our side. Seven four seven four hundred. American Airlines 388, it's a, another 737 inbound from Destin, Fort Worth. We do have another heavy jet that will be coming in on this side, a 787 Dreamliner. Be coming in here in a minute. I don't think that'd be perfect would be a beer. I just need a beer. This will be perfect. <laughs> Still a little warm, but the breeze has picked up, so that's definitely helping a bit. Special livery inbound, it's Avianca Flight 440. I believe it's the Surf City, I believe is what they call it. A320 inbound from San Salvador. I just realized this is the second special livery we've caught for Avianca already this year. We got the Taka Retro at Dulles. No special livery, especially ones that you don't get to see very often. These international ones when they come in. Perfect. Came in on the right runway. American 49, it's another Dreamliner inbound from Paris. United 1380, it's a uh, 737 MAX inbound from Newark. Sun is still out here, but I guess on some of the other sides of the airport it is raining, so we'll see. Frontier. Definitely rained. I can see the rain on the parking lot below me and I smell it, but the runways look like they're pretty dry. Alright, check this out. Coming in on 17 Center is Qatar Flight 72 Papa. It's an Air Airbus A350 1000 inbound from Doha. Through the China Cargo 747-400 is pushing. It came in on 1-8. 
but I'm wondering if it'll go out over here because the uh, UPS kit went out over here. Let's see. We got some heavy jets that's going to be heading over to our side of the field to depart. We got this American 787 Dreamliner. Also got a 777 that fired up the engines. The CRJ is taking the runway now. Look at all the Americans lined up. How cool is that? Um, and it looks like the 747 is going to come over to our side. So we'll get that to party in the next couple of minutes, hopefully. Just got to note that the uh, WestJet Frozen livery is going to Houston today. I'm like, oh man. Someone declared an emergency. I don't know who it was. Probably maybe a private jet or something. So, I'm you know, listening in for that as well and see if they end up coming here or if they go to one of the other airports nearby. We'll see. American 175 heading to Tokyo. 787 Dreamliner. Looks like the uh, 747 just lined up for our way on the other side. So, I guess we won't see it after all. Look like it is going to follow an American over here. That's all right, we're going to have these two depart here in a minute. We can definitely tell the rain is getting closer. It's starting to get dark over to our west as American Flight 79, a triple seven inbound from London Heathrow. I have a Spirit 3161 heading to Miami. It might come into our shot. Spirit. You're an American Airlines fan. Today is your day. Something about going over to Founders Park here in a little bit. We're watching the weather. There's some stores moving in. So I don't know if we're better off going over there today or maybe wait until tomorrow. We'll see. Got an alert for a severe thunderstorm warning in Denton County, which is the county to our north. These stores are moving in a southeast direction. I don't know. If that might not hit us, but certainly causes some uh, issues. There's been a few diversions. Really hoping that those get to Houston. Maybe they'll divert that west jet over here. That would be awesome. We'll see. All right, lining up for 17 Center. We'll go ahead and keep the camera on. It is another American Airlines 787. It is going to Rome. Flight 240. This one will come out. It's pretty far away, but it's a contour flight I'm down from Waynesville. Embraer ERJ-135. Back to the hotel, we went to the uh, C.R. Smith Museum and they ended up turning the airport back around. I was really looking forward to getting the uh, A380 and whatnot over there, but came back over here. There's a bunch of diversions that went to Houston, so it should be pretty busy. Flight 48, another 787 Dreamliner, and this one is heading to Paris. The 
EPS 747-8 just landed on the other side. The only downside I'll say about DFW is it's hard to um, hard to see both sides. The Founders Plaza is the main spotting area here, and it's definitely the best for your international arrivals. I'll definitely have to admit, I kind of regret not having the vehicle. Well, maybe we'll come back. You never know. UPS departing on this side is flight 2298, A300 heading to Orlando. None of the stores went through. It's not terrible out. It's definitely cooled down a little bit. There's a little bit of a breeze. So it's not unbearable. Like it was earlier. American 1009 heading to Orlando. And wish I would have brought my laptop. I thought about it. If I had brought my laptop and my tripod, I could absolutely be live streaming this right now. Oh, maybe next time. Lost puppy over here, Delta A320. Heading over here to the 17s. Really trying to get the uh, non Americans as much as I can. Because I know that there's a lot of American, a lot of American 320s, 321s, and 737s. So definitely trying to keep as much variety as we can. There's an American 737, by the way, just touched down. Definitely trying to get that variety for you as much as I possibly can. That's some fantastic lighting right now, though. Get behind the American 7-3. That wouldn't be confusing at all. <laughs> Which one? Sun Country rolling in on the other side. I missed that one. Watching this uh, One World American wait before he gets to the runway. I've completely lost track of this. I apologize. Frontier 2602 coming in from San Diego. Look at the gorgeous lighting we have right now, though. Oh my goodness. Sun came out. It got gorgeous. Today is the first day of summer. Hit the summer solstice. It's the longest day of the year. It'll be getting shorter from here on out. Sunset is 9-12 tonight, I believe. Alaska 392 inbound from Portland, Oregon. PDX. Really hoping for one of the Alaska special liveries while we're out here. Fingers crossed. Tomorrow we're going to go to the American Airlines um, the hangar tour. We're going to go behind the scenes here in the morning. And then after that we're going to go to the collector show. First full day, official day here at Airliners International. And then if we have time we're going to go spot. And then after that we'll fly home. Flight leaves at 7 o'clock tomorrow and I head back to Cleveland. Uh, i got to pick up work for a co-worker on Friday. And then we'll see where things go for the weekend. And in flight, I think it's 1160, is heading to Chicago. It's a, uh, A320. Hope to do some spotting tomorrow. That's the priority. We'll see how things go. Right, we got special livery in our ride in this morning. It's American 2449. The One World livery heading to Jacksonville, Florida. I believe there were three One World aircraft here today. Two of them this morning together. No worries, special livery lovers. We have more. There's at least one more special livery tonight. Frontier Flight 2454 heading to Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. I think today might be the inaugural flight because I tried to book this flight. I, I looked at Frontier and it wasn't anything non-stop on Frontier coming in. 
And this is the only one I saw leaving, and I think there's a nice stop tomorrow. So, new service, DFW to Cleveland on Frontier. Competition for America. I think Spirit has that flight, too. Got a Delta A220 taxiing out. I believe this is the second A220 we've seen today. We had the uh, Air Canada a little while ago. A couple A321s passing each other. One is heading to the runway. This one just came in. They're heading over to the gate. What's your feelings on the new American Airlines livery? I guess it's not super new. I think it was unveiled in 2013. You know, a little bit eye-opening going to the C.R. Smith Museum and seeing the evolution of the double A with the eagle. And now you just have the kind of the widget, the thumbprint in the front. Gotta admit, I'm not a fan of it. The tail's okay, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I wish they'd go back to the old livery, or at least bring back their old logo, or kind of a, even a modern variation of it. Gotta admit, I've been kind of picking and choosing what I film today. Trying to keep as much variety as I can. Maybe someday that we'll come back and we'll do a live stream. Hopefully this one would have come in a little closer, but it's way out in the distance. We're still trying to recover some of the flights that diverted to Houston. That uh, line of storms is going to be hitting that area here pretty soon, so we might see some diversions out of Houston. We'll see. Maybe get some United Heavies. That'd be pretty cool. It's uh, Air Canada 1033. It's a Max 8 inbound from Toronto. Getting way over there in 17 left. Trying to brought some uh, trucks to go to the pool. American Airlines Flight 25, it's another 787 Dreamliner. And this one is inbound from Paris. One of my dream trips I hope to take someday. Maybe we'll get a low-cost carrier to do it at Cleveland. Maybe United to do it at Cleveland someday. You never know. I have my doubts. But with the A321 XLRs coming into the fleet, maybe. You never know. Frontier knows talking about Transatlantic too. So, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get some someone to go to Paris and London and those great European destinations. We'll see. American 2446 in mile from Traverse City, Michigan. Here, another inbound from Cancun. I forgot the flight number. And we also have a triple seven lining up for one seven right. So we'll get that here in a minute. So they get clearance to take off. Uh, here's the big triple seven. I forgot the flight number. I think it's 40, but I could be wrong. But it's a triple seven 300 heading to JFK. It looks John F. Kennedy International Airport. Heading 
heading to Louisville. Three one seven. So A three nineteen inbound from Little Rock. Yeah, it was just turned into a really nice evening. Bright sunshine, temperatures are cooled off a little bit. Really not that bad out. I guess I'm still awake. I woke up at four o'clock this morning to fly out. It's about seven here in Dallas. We are eight o'clock our time back in Cleveland. We'll be hitting the hay here fairly soon. Probably the fact it's still bright is what's keeping us up. Now we get a heavy jet inbound. It's Iberia Flight 149, I believe is what it is. It's a A330 inbound from Madrid. sure if it's Eagle or Mainline because of the size of the big Airbus here. But look over here, it looks like it's been buried. I think it landed on the other side and came over here. It's the uh, Medal of Honor A321. And that should be departing here in a little bit, so we'll get to see that depart again. We got to see it come in. Where did we get to see it depart? I don't remember. This is all depart. How cool is that to see the same aircraft more than once? 2761 hitting to St. Louis. The flagship flag of valor uh, landed on the other side and taxied in over there. That's why we didn't see it. So it just came in, but it is supposed to leave about 9 o'clock. We should still have some daylight, so we'll get that departing again. So we'll add that to our special livery pile today. We have another one that should be leaving here pretty soon. Spirit 3060 to Fort Lauderdale. We got an American 321. Who's going to win the race? Spirit's accelerating. American's coming. I think it's going to be Spirit. Seven eight seven Dreamliner push back over here, so that'll be heading over here to take off in a minute. Another you know, heavy jet. This certainly isn't a heavy jet. It's an Airbus A three nineteen. Heading to New Orleans. American Flight 1111 inbound from Toronto. There's the uh, waiting Dreamliner to be heading out. Frontier 2767 is one of the brand new A321 Neos. It's called Louis the Axolotl. Inbound for Miami. This is a piece of dirt on my lens, so I'll grab that here in a minute. 
has it been there the whole time. I just happened to notice it in the shadow, so I'll grab it. Hey, look at this. It's a SkyWest house livery. CRJ. Taxing out. I learned today that Mesa has one too. Here we get to see one. I'll try to get a shot of it. Twenty-seven ninety-one heading to Miami. Unfortunately, that Dreamliner went to the other side. So it's going to depart on the west side of the field. All disappointing. We've had several over here, which has been great, but. Unfortunately, that one isn't coming this way. Whenever it's going out to Asia or something, heading out west. 4835 heading to College Station. It's the Sky West House livery. That's another one of our special liveries today. It's at least, what, six? The UPS is sending a 767 over here to depart. FedEx should have some departures and an arrival soon too. I think there's an MD-11 that should be inbound, so we should see that. Dreamliner pushing back. Hopefully that one will depart over here for us. There's another American 737 departs. UPS 2308 heading to Atlanta. No, they won't, but it'd be great if they set that 748 over here to depart. And it goes a little bit. We got Atlas Air coming in too. Hopefully, they come in on this side in a few more hours. Oh, I went over the building. Spirit 281 inbound from Cancun. Dreamliner is going out. Hopefully, they take off on this side. American Flight 132 and the 787 Dreamliner heading to Dublin. United 737. I just got an alert that an American flight from Austin is diverting. So the Austin area is starting to get some weather. Moving into Houston here fairly soon too, so maybe you will get some diversions. You never know. American 963. It's another 787. This one is heading to San Paulo. 
And its gate is on the other side, so they sent it over here to take off. I'm hoping maybe we'll get lucky and they'll send some of the internationals over here to depart. I have my doubts, but you never know. Or maybe one of the UPS heavies, the uh, MB-11 or the 7.4 when that goes in a little bit. My guess is no, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Still hoping for some diversions. Maybe we'll get a United Dreamliner or a 777 or something like that and we'll see. Hey, it's the 411. Southern Airways Flight 411, that is. A Cessna Caravan heading to Hot Springs. I think that'll be in the air before the uh, 7 3 over there is on the ground. No, uh, the American got in first. Kind of trip in my brain though. I just hear the uh, thrust reverses on the American. I can't hear the prop, but it's throwing me off. United A320, and we also got a special livery. Where is it? There it is. It's the American Airlines Heritage livery, the bare metal retro. Probably my all-time favorite, or certainly one of my all-time favorite airline liveries. And that's another special livery today. That we can add to the list. I'm surprised there hasn't been more of the retro. Just this one in the U.S. Airways is all I can remember. But, uh, glad to see him. I know we're getting stand-up to cancer in the morning. Flight of, or Flag of Valor is coming back in. But we'll see. Keep hoping this one gets turned around and somehow ends up on my flight home. Australia has landed. I will say the air traffic control staff here is working hard. Uh, weather closing in at Austin, weather closing in in Houston. We had the weather here that shut things down for a little bit and that Dallas love. So we're trying to get the, the airports of this area fixed. Lots of delays and whatnot going on here. And we also have the, uh, the weather moving into those other airports, which means probably we'll see some diversions. So they're working hard. And that's why all those other Americans are waiting. I think they're waiting for their clearance. The United touching down here, A320. Believe it came in from Newark. I haven't looked in a little bit. United 82.40 heading to Dulles. American 1605 heading to Raleigh Durham, North Carolina. It's the bare metal retro heritage livery. Really happy we were able to see this one while we were here. The One World livery back. Just had to shut my window. I apologize, I missed it. The uh, yellow jacket flying around here, so I just shut my balcony for a couple of minutes. Trying to keep it out. Got another One World livery just came in. 
And we have a couple heavy jets departing over here, including a Cargo Lux 747, so stay tuned. Air Canada, Max that came in a little bit ago, they're gonna depart over here as well. Hopefully with Cargo Lux coming over, it means we'll send some of the international heavies over here. There's an Air Canada 767 that uh, came in about a half hour ago. It was supposed to be here about five o'clock. Diverted to Houston due to weather for a little bit. It's supposed to leave at some point. Hopefully it'll send that over here. We have FedEx that should be leaving. UPS that should be leaving. Fingers crossed we'll get some heavies. Oh yeah, look at that. We got the Medal of Honor. We got Cargo Lux, so we have a 787 taking the runway. I believe they're heading to Rome. Yep, it's American 290, a 787 Dreamliner heading to Rome. I wish the uh, other side of the building wasn't in the way because we're missing the rotation and actual departures, but still Get, Watch them roll by Got another new frontier should be chopper to great white shark heading out couple yellow jackets flying around now so I have to keep shutting my balcony where they go away I missed that Air Canada that just took off oh, I'm mad about that at the uh, flagship Valor Medal of Honor livery A321 is taxi we're pushing back Cargo Lux is going to Houston that might be why they're waiting over there there's weather moving into that area. There's a few diversions coming in. Nothing really of note. A couple American 737s and a Spirit so far. Fingers crossed. Maybe we'll get a heavy United or something. Flight Radar 24 says it's 4826 heading to Dallas from Denver. So I wonder if it's actually heading to Denver. I got it backwards. Or if it just hasn't updated yet. Anyways, it's Chopper to Great White Shark, one of the new A321 Neos departing. Not sure what's going on here. You got an ambulance heading out. They're going to this American. They were just waiting for clearance. I'm not sure what's going on. This is my reminder to check in on my flight tomorrow. It's American 1228, my ride out of town tomorrow night, heading to Cleveland. Twenty-one fifty-six. It's our Medal of Honor flagship Valor A three twenty-one heading to New Orleans. It's another special livery. How about that? Got another A three twenty-one. This one is heading to Nashville. American 681, it's a heavy 777-200 inbound from Cancun. They're waiting on the uh, ground stop to lift for the Cargo Lux. And all the airplanes just lined up over there. They're all waiting for their clearance to go either to Austin or Houston. Some of the other Texas cities, East Texas, as the uh, whole state's been pummeled with some severe weather tonight. And there's some more kind of in Oklahoma and North Texas, uh, even dropping some tornadoes and whatnot. So hopefully we won't get anything like that here tonight. I don't think we're going to, but a lot of weather. And you get this 95 plus heat with the high humidity, you get a lot of weather. 2679 about from Sarasota, Florida. Just got a little bit of bad news. Actually, two little bits. 
The UPS 747-8 is going out on the other side, so we can't see it. But the Cargo Lux 747 that came over here a little bit ago, heading to Houston, has to go back to its gate. I don't know if they canceled a flight or if it was just a fuel issue or what. But uh, Houston is in a ground stop, diverting flights. Got some flights coming in here. Um, nothing crazy yet. We'll keep an eye out. Let's see, maybe we get some diversions tonight. And we'll keep an eye on the uh, cargo looks and everything else to see if anything happens to go out tonight. Um, or what goes out in the morning. Hopefully we'll catch it. Got a FedEx MD-11 here. I'm trying to figure out how to get this cargo lux out of here. They kind of got the runaway block, so they're calling for wing walkers and trying to figure out how to get that over there while the uh, ground stop is in effect in Houston. Had a couple of flights to divert. I'm not sure. I haven't seen them come in on this side, so it must have come in on the other side. A couple of United 7-3s, a couple of American 7-3s, I think a Spirit flight. So, uh, still fingers crossed we'll get something a little bit cooler than that. We still got a few heavy jets that are scheduled to leave tonight. And a couple more that are coming in, so if they come in over here, we'll try to get them for you. I believe this is a Skywest 4835. It's the house delivery, and they're back. They flew over to College Station, and they are back. Not sure how well this will turn out. Cargo Lux is taxiing back over to their ramp, so we'll keep an eye on them. Let's see if they end up going to Houston once the weather passes in a couple of hours, or if they end up spending the night. planes back there are holding. Alright, departing over here on I think it's 17 Center will be FedEx 1601. It's an MB 11F heading to Indianapolis. It looks like the Air Canada cargo is going to depart over here and it looks like another American is going to depart over here. So... Got some more heavies. FedEx 1601, it's our MB-11F heading to Indianapolis. I had a heck of a time finding it. Diverted in from Houston. I believe the flight number was 1810. I can double check that for you. It's going to go to the end of the longest line here. It's kind of an idea of how many airplanes are just parked everywhere here. The United was 1609. It took off from DFW a little bit ago. Went to Houston, went into a hold, and came back. But there are airplanes all over the place as they're trying to scramble for gate space and everything they can think of with the severe thunderstorm warning down in Houston right now. Wish it would have happened a few hours ago when the uh, WestJet went in, but it's alright. Should be 2151 heading to Columbia. Air Canada 7226, it's a 767-300, I believe. And they're heading to Toronto. Twenty-four heading to Paris. 
1726 inbound from JFK, the world's second busiest airport feels that way tonight. Just got a, an alert on the radio that Houston evacuated their tower due to tornado warnings and whatnot, so that's part of why we got such a mess right now. They've kind of been turning it around to where it's mostly departures on this side and arrivals on the other side. A220 and 934 heading to Greenville, Spartanburg. American 1234 heading up to Milwaukee. You said I need to go to bed. Getting about 10.30 here, 11.30 our time. I cannot believe I've been up this long. Let's push it 24 hours for me, 20 hours now. But they keep sending the heavies over here and I keep wanting to get them. American 2402, I might have had it backwards. This flight's gone to Greenville, Spartan Greg. I'm not sure where the other one was going. Maybe it was Fort Lauderdale, I can't remember. This should be the other One World livery. I think this is the one we flew in this morning. I think it was the same tail number. I mean, One Worlds that we've seen today. American 542 heading to Raleigh Durham. I said they're sending me to heavies. I know these haven't been heavies, but we have a UPS MD 11. I thought they'd take off on the other side. It's coming over here. And FedEx is coming over here too. So we have a couple more heavies departing after this uh, Airbus. UPS 767. It's an MB11F, if that's confusing or not. Heading to Louisville. Like to just call the tower and they were annoyed because they thought the ground stop at Houston was only for United. The tower's like, no. <laughs> it's for everybody. It might have been at one point, but when they evacuated the tower, it's for everybody. FedEx 1365 767 heading to Memphis. Like the Iberia is going to head over this way. I thought there was an American, but I don't know what happened to it. Heavy. There's a bunch of stuff down there, but I don't see it. But it looks like Iberia is coming over here and possibly ABX, so we'll see. American Flight 80, it's a 777 heading to London Heathrow. Lots of military activity tonight. Congratulations to the Ohio spotters who got the B1s that flew over today. Very jealous about that. I pulled up uh, EDSB and there's a ton of military, the intelligence aircraft, the cargo aircraft, all kinds of stuff flying around west of here. And lots, looks like more weather moving in, so some of it's holding. Iberia Flight 148, it's uh, A330 heading to Madrid. We got some more weather moving in. Probably the worst thing for the uh, controllers tonight. So they're trying to get everybody out of here as quickly as possible. FedEx 1609, I believe, was the flight number. Another 767 are headed to Indianapolis. Three ninety eight heading to Columbus. 
ABX Flight 102, 767 heading to Cincinnati. For tonight from Dallas Fort Worth International Airport, got up at four o'clock this morning. Starting to get a little bit tired, so we're gonna get ready for bed. Uh, I will keep an eye on the radar though and see if we get any diversions or if we get anything coming in or anything cool leaves on our side. So if anything like that happens, um, we'll make sure we get it for you. Um, if you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. A lot of new people joined the channel the last couple of days with the Columbus Air Show and um, the little short videos I did about the trip down here. So, new to the channel, welcome. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, make sure you share with your friends. Uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Flies Official, and I really appreciate everyone's support. Tomorrow, we're going to go to the American Airlines hangar. We're going to do a maintenance tour over there. And um, go to Airlines International. I'll show you a little bit of the show. I'm going to try to do some spotting tomorrow if we get a chance. And then um, we'll go home tomorrow night. Uh, back to Cleveland. And then probably do some spotting this weekend. So looking forward to bringing that to you. And uh, we'll catch you next time from Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Have a great night, everybody.